Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Y'all, it's Super Simple Sunday. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and a big old welcome to all of my new subscribers and a big thank you to everyone who is supporting me in any way on this channel. I really do appreciate it. Well, today is Super Simple Sunday and you know what that means. That means that we keep it very simple, but we still end up with either a fun little tip or a beautiful, simple craft project. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to do a really cute little project with some of that free paper I managed to score a while back. And so here's what we're going to be making. I'll give you a closer look at it once we get ready to go over what you're going to need to make it, which isn't going to be much. But some of you might remember this doggy print paper that I was able to get from Old Time Pottery simply by asking the cashier if I could have some of that wrapping paper that they used to wrap breakables. And she said yes. So that is how I was able to get some free paper. And this is going to be another one of those process videos where the size that you're working with really doesn't matter. It's a process so that you can end up with a bag as beautiful as this one. But the finished bag for me on this one is six and a half by eight and a half. So y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. And so here is a closer look at today's project. We're going to be making this super elegant doggy bag, but it is going to be so easy to make. And here at the top, I have used some of the beautiful paper flowers that were sent to me in some happy mail by Robin Pitts. And I'll have Robin's channel linked below and I'll link it back to where she shows the paper flowers. So if you're interested, head on over check out that video. And while you're over there, hit that subscribe button because Robin is really a very talented paper crafter that I think you'll enjoy. So here's our bag. I have a little project life card that says, enjoy the little things. I used a little bit of my cream cool seam binding. And then I used a nice little gold clothes pin just to close it if I want to. I can put it here or I can put it here, anywhere you want to put it if you want to seal that bag closed without sealing it closed. So easy peasy to make. And we're going to do the chip bag look here at the bottom. So here's what I have. I have a piece that measures 14 by 10. Again, this is more about the process than the paper size that you're using. So you can actually use a 12 by 12 or a 12 by 10. You don't necessarily have to have a piece that is 14 by 10, but if you do have some rolled paper, this is a great time to pull it out. So all I'm going to do is take my paper and basically just overlap it to where I want it to be. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this one on top like that. And you can see that the bottom isn't even. We are going to trim that. Try to get it a little bit straighter. So if your paper isn't even, this is the process that you can follow to even it. So I'm just trimming off after I have folded over. And now I have a nice even piece that I can work with. So now when I open it, I am just going to take it and fold it over like that. And really how much you fold over is completely up to you. Again, we're doing a process video and not necessarily exact measurements on our video. So I am just going to take my finger, go along that and get it nice and creased. And now I'm just going to take some tape, place some tape along the top. And I hope you guys are enjoying hide and seek. If you don't know what hide and seek is, we're playing it through the 27th of October in celebration of my three year anniversary on YouTube and 100,000 subscribers. So I'll have a video linked below. If you're interested in playing, check out that video as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put another strip here. We're going to take this piece and fold it over. It's pretty easy, right? Then I'm just going to use my handy dandy big old spatula 
to go in, get that nice and smooth. And so now I'll take my tape. I'm going to put it right there on that center section. And I'll also go ahead and put it on this section as well. And now I'll take this piece on the end and I think I'm gonna trim off just a little bit because we really don't need that much because we're going to treat this like a glue flap. So all I did was trimmed that shorter end just a little bit and how much you trim it is up to you and whether or not you trim it is up to you. So I'm going to take my tape and on the outside of what would be considered my glue flap, I'm adding tape. And then I'll put just a little bit here because I want to make sure that the top of that bag is nice and closed when I do the overlap. And then we'll place just a little bit right here. So now I can peel away my tape. I'm going to peel away these bottom pieces. I'm going to go ahead and just get that stuck in the tape at the bottom. And then we'll just fold over that piece. And I can see that it's still just a little bit uneven at the bottom, which is not going to be that big of a deal because we are going to use the crimper, but I did decide to go ahead and even it up just a little bit. So now I can turn this over and you can see that we have a really nice, simple little doggy bag. So easy peasy. And some of you have asked about projects that you can do with your grandchildren. This is certainly one of them. So now I'm going to bring in my paper crimper and basically it just has this handle on the side. You put your paper in through these little ridges here, then you squeeze the handle and turn the knob. So when I put mine in, I'm going to place it in so that it's going in between the two rollers. Then I'm going to look at it because I want my lines to be fairly straight. So I'm making sure that when I place my paper in, it looks like it's laying in there nice and straight. So I'm just going to slide it over. And now I'll squeeze down on my clamp. And this is the part where you can go back and forth if you want. And what you're going to end up with is something that looks like a potato chip bag. And you have that look. Now, for those of you who don't have a crimper, I did demonstrate a technique on how you can get that crimped look in a video. And I'll also have that video linked in the description box below. So now we have our sweet bag and it's simply a matter of decorating however you want to decorate. So I have this Project Life card that says, Think Happy Thoughts. I'm going to use some of my Tim Holtz Distress Ink because I want to knock a little bit of that brightness off of this Project Life card. And then I decided on this bag, I'm also just going to go along the edges a little bit to just give that a different look as well. I didn't do it on the other one and then I thought about it afterwards and I thought, you know what, I think I am. So I'm just adding a little ink to the edges of my bag, not a whole lot. And I'm only doing the front so that you guys can see what it is I'm doing on Super Simple Sunday. And so now we have this beautiful little bag. So now I can take my Think Happy Thoughts, add some tape to the back. And this time I think I'm going to place it on this side. So Robin's flower will go right there, but I do want to add some seam binding. So this time I think I'm gonna go with this nice berry completely different look. I'm going to tie it in a knot. Then I could use my glue gun to put this down, but I'm just going to use some of my little glue dots and I'm going to place that right there. I'll take my seam binding and lay it in the glue dot and then I'll trim it. And now I can take another glue dot and I'm just going to take one of the larger ones this time. 
because I really want it to support that flower. And I'm going to place that glue dot right there. I'm going to take Robin's beautiful flower and place it on the glue dot. And you can see that it's not going anywhere. So then I'm going to take another clothespin. This one is gold. And I'm just going to tuck it behind just like that. Or you can move it over here if you want. Completely up to you how you want to put that clothespin on. I am just going to tuck mine there for the time being. And now I have a really sweet, super simple Sunday bag that I can use for any reason, season, or gender. Made my bag using free paper. So the cost of making the bag portion of this was only the cost of tape. And then I use a gifted flower, a little bit of seam binding, and a Project Life card. So this is not only super simple, but it's super economical as well. And that's one of the things that we're all about on this channel is taking something that ordinarily would not cost a whole lot and turning it into something that looks like it cost a million bucks. So I am bringing the first one back in just so that you can see how gorgeous these are. Guys, three things. Go check out Robin's video where she talks about how to make the flowers. Then if you're interested in the crinkle process here, look for that video below. And if you're interested in the hide and seek game, check the description box below as well for that video. Guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this super simple Sunday craft. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.